Hi there and welcome. We're on OnlineCoursesForFree.com. My name is Nellie Deutsch and today I'm going to show you how to record using Moodle's Tiny MCE Editor. First thing you need to do is make sure that you have this open twice. So let's go into the uh, demo course or your course in your case. And then I'm going to open it up again on this other tab. So I've got two tabs open. Notice going to go into the topic section, one of these topic sections where I want to demonstrate something. But before I do, I need to turn editing on. So the edit mode is at the top right there. Turn it on. Next, I'm going to go into the three dots here and into edit settings of the topic section. In this case, overview and syllabus. Next, I'm going to go into insert and then go into record screen. Click on it and notice my options here. By default, it goes straight into the entire screen, which I don't want. Don't want a window. I want a Chrome tab. Now notice because I have two tabs open on online courses for free. I can do this. Otherwise, you will not see it if you only have it open once. So make sure that it's there twice. Click on edit course, go into share. OK, so I know I'm sharing it, but I haven't started the recording yet. So go back to the recording. Notice the tab into the recording, scroll down and you'll see start recording. Make sure that you turn this on or you won't be recording and that's a shame. So start the recording. And now I am recording. Let me go back into the course. OK, and notice here it is. This is the tab that I want to show how things are done. So let me take you on a tour and the tour is going to be of the blocks in my case. These are the blocks that I have already added, but let me show you the ones that are available under blocks. So notice accessibility review, administration, all these amazing blocks, but we're going to focus on the latest announcements. Let's add that. We're going to go back into add block and focus on notice what else is here. Level up and then we're going to uh, go back to add a block. You can't add multiple blocks at the same time, which is kind of unfortunate in this case. And then I'm going to go into let's see what else is available here. Upcoming events, but I'm going to explore the others because I might like them. OK, so we've got the latest announcements and I can move these up. OK, the latest announcements as I wish, or I can go into the three dots. So this is how I demonstrate anything. Now, let me stop to show you what you do next. So I'm going to stop sharing. OK, and now I'm going to go into this and attach the recording. Don't get mixed up. OK, make sure that you go back into your course. And there it is huge, right? And I don't want it that big. OK, you click on and hopefully it won't start talking. And the idea is to make it smaller because right now it is huge and we don't want that to be that big. Next, I'm going to go to the very edge and start minimizing it. OK, until it gets to a normal size. And I think this is quite normal. OK, unless you want it smaller, but I think that's fine. Right. Next, I'm going to save changes. OK, so there it is right now under my section overview and syllabus. If you want it somewhere else, you can add it anywhere where there's an editor. And on Moodle, <laughs> there are editors everywhere. And we're talking about tiny MCE. All right. So we've got the video right here, but I want to share it. Going to go into perma link. Click on that and then copy to clipboard. Now I've copied it. Now I want to share it with the world. But make sure that your course is set to participants to be 
able to come in as guests and view everything. So the course should be viewed by anyone who has access to the site as a guest. So let me share it in a browser window. I'm going to share it on Safari. And here we are. Now anyone, notice you don't have to log in to be able to view it. Anyone can view it. And let me play it. Let me go back into the course. Okay, and notice here it is. This is the tab that I want to show how things are done. So let me take you on a tour. And the tour is going to be of the blocks in my case. These are the blocks that I have already added. But let me show you the ones. Okay, so I think you got the idea. That's how it's done. So let's go back into our course. This is the course. And um, I'll keep this here. I have to keep it here. I can't delete it. Otherwise, it won't be able to uh, play where I added it. Let me know if you have any questions about this or anything related to Moodle, and I'll be happy to help. Enjoy Moodling. Thank you.